Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle frames in Selenium WebDriver. So this is very important topic and very interesting and it will be very simple, um, you know, step by step process that I'll guide you through to handle frames. And this will be utilized a lot in your automation when you're doing automation uh, in your actual application. So understanding this concept is really, really important and it is not tricky. It is not difficult. So we'll uh, understand all the details of how you can handle frames in any web page. So here I am on uh, the Selenium website and if we go and open the Java docs, so we'll go to the Java docs and open the API docs and we'll find out the web driver uh, interface that we discuss for the first time right so here in the web driver interface we have seen in the previous tutorials that uh, certain methods so if you haven't uh, followed my previous tutorial please go through and watch all the tutorials that i have published in this particular selenium web driver series it is very important uh, to go through those tutorials before you come to this particular topic because uh, all the tutorials that I have posted are uh, sort of streamlined or structured in a way that you will follow uh, the previous ones. Uh, once you follow the previous ones, you will be able to understand the current one. So please go ahead and watch the previous ones. And if you haven't subscribed and shared the tutorials with your friends, please go ahead and subscribe and spread the word as much as you can. So and now in in this particular uh, you know uh, web driver interface you will see that there is a switch to method that we have discussed in a very beginning beginner you know like tutorial in the initial tutorials and the return type is basically the target locator so we can use this switch to method and what you see is here that it sends future commands to a different frame or window right so in order to to handle frame or window um, we need to uh, use this method and it will return this web driver dot target locator. So this is another interface. So if we go to that particular interface, you will see what all methods are supported in that particular interface. So you'll see that you can switch to active element or alert. So this is JavaScript alert, um, which we'll discuss in the next tutorial or the default content or the frame or you know parent frame or window okay so we'll so this basically um, ties up together so you, you can use switch to method um, to handle your frames the L javascript alerts or windows and this is all you know tied up and uh, together all three the all three of these concepts so i'll cover those these in next three or four tutorials all three of those so in this one let's focus on handling frame if you want to go through a brief you know a definition of uh, iframe so i'll just say iframe w3 schools and we'll read out uh, a little bit of uh, you know what exactly iframe is so inline frame right and what it does is it is used to embed another document within the current html document so you can have multiple html documents within the current so for example there can be a parent window then within that there will be you know a, a sub document where you can have a separate html code so here if we go to this particular uh, you know w3 schools website and i'll go uh, you know w3 schools js alert uh, you will see that here if i click on try it yourself right and here you will see that this is one of the section and then this you know try it uh, section is another section right when I click on this try it button it displays a alert and this is a JavaScript alert and we'll learn how to handle this as well in the next tutorial so now because these are two different sections so we have to once the web driver opens this particular page uh, the control by default doesn't shift to this particular frame right to this section here that you see so the control is on the parent window and then you have to basically switch to this particular window and click on try it. So uh, if we just, you know, inspect the whole page, right? And you will see that here you can see this ta tag iframe, right? So that's how you uh, analyze or figure out that a particular page contains, you know, frames or not. You simply have to go through and look for iframe 
uh, tag and if the page contains iframe tag then your page has the uh, you know iframe and here you can see that this particular frame has the id name etc and then you can see another html document is embedded within it and if you scroll up you will see that there is this is the parent html right so uh, within that parent html in the body you will see that there is another frame which contains another document right so that's what iframe does it it embeds another document html document within the parent document so in order to switch to this particular you know section of uh, or this particular frame we have to use the web driver method um, switch to okay so let's go to the eclipse and i'll simply copy this and paste and rename this uh, class to uh, demo iframe okay and let me update so i'll close uh, i'll remove all these lines and now we have to open the website which contains frame so let's take an example of um, this particular so w3 schools we'll simply take this example in this case right so this has this particular frame so we'll try to first uh, you know switch to this frame and click on try it button okay so i'll simply copy this url and we'll open this url okay so i'll say driver.get and then paste the url there okay and then maximize that window now if i just want to you know like click on this particular try it button so we won't be switching it let's see uh, you know directly clicking on this particular try it button and see whether it works or not so i'll simply copy the x path and then i'll say driver.find element by x path and then provide the x path right so i want to click on that particular try it button once i open this particular page so ideally in normal you know uh, pages which won't be having any frame this this um, code will work right now because this tried button that we have analyzed it's in this particular you know like frame iframe so we would be required to switch so let's execute this and see that it you know it will fail this time and it will give you an error that it can't find the web element so let's see how it goes and then we'll go ahead and try to switch it um, into the frame and then click it so let's go back to eclipse and you can see that there is an exception and no such element right so it's unable to locate that particular web element okay so now what we need to do is we need to use switch to method right so what we'll do is we'll simply say driver dot switch to okay and then if you say dot it will give you all the methods if you start typing frame you will see that you can switch to a frame by the index by the name a string name or id if that frame has the name or id defined for it or you can define or you can return the web element frame element so you can store a frame element in a web element look in um, you know uh, a variable okay and then you can pass it on there and to return so the, if we hover over to the parent uh, frame you will see that it changes focus to the parent context right so if you say parent frame after you know um, clicking on the try it button then it will again return the context or the focus to the parent frame okay so these three methods are there you can use the index you can use the name or id and you can use the actual web element so index so for example you have four or you have you know, like 10 frames on a page so index starts from zero and it ends at nine if there are 10 frames right so you can to select the first frame you just specify the index as zero okay so for example um, you know if this page page uh, you know has two or three uh, you know frames 
then depending on which frame you want to switch you can directly provide the index so let's try providing the index and see so if here in this case i have provided index zero so what this means is that it will click on the first frame that is available okay at you know index zero so if this is the first frame on the page then it will click on it okay so let's run it and see whether it executes or clicks on the try it button successfully or not and then we'll also uh, try to find out the size or the number of frames on the page so looks like it didn't find so actually it looks so here is the problem uh, so there is no error so which means that it has switched to the frame uh, but here you can see that i'm not uh, you know doing any action on it on uh, this particular element so i need to click on that web element right so i have to type in click so that's what it missing it was missing so i'll simply uh, add the click and let's try executing it again and this time it should switch to the uh, frame if it is you know like the first frame so this is the first frame because uh, you know and here you can see that this the control came to the first frame and clicked on the try it button because you can see this alert present right so um, that means the index zero that we have provided is basically uh, the first frame or this is the first frame on this particular page right so if there would have been you know like two more frames uh, and this tried button would have been in the third frame instead of this first frame then what we have to provide is we have to provide the index as two because for the first frame the index is zero for the second frame index is one for the third frame index is two so that's how you'll handle frame by index okay now the second one is by id or by name okay so how you will find the id or name so if we just right click and inspect this particular web element you will see that this iframe has the id as well as the name right so i can use either of these okay to handle this particular frame so i can simply say instead of this you know um, index i'll simply say dot frame and then i can provide a string of either id or name right whichever is there so in this case i'll just provide the id and it will be able to identify the frame go to that particular frame and click on this you know um, button try it button okay now the third uh, option or uh, the third operation or third method that you can use is to choose frame by the web element right so what do, what does that mean so i'll simply explain so by the web element right so what what does it mean so i can simply say driver dot find element by and then id and instead of providing this you know frame element id there i can simply provide this frame element id and store it as a web element right so i'll say web element frame one okay uh, frame one okay and import the web element library and simply provide this frame variable into as an argument here okay so that's what this uh, you know uh, the third one which is wherein you can store a web element and then um, a web element in a locator or in a variable and then pass on that variable okay so we have seen that you can handle frame by the frame id uh, or name or frame index or storing it as a web element now once you have switched to that particular frame you need to go back to the parent frame um, if you want to do anything on the parent frame right so for example in this case 
once the control is in this frame and you want to do something else on the parent frame you have to switch the control from the child frame to the parent frame okay and in order to do that you have a method uh, which is basically say for example in this case you want to get the title of the parent page right so here if you want to get the title of the parent page now the control is on this particular frame then we have to first go back to the parent frame and then get the title okay then this this particular method will work so what you need to do is you need to simply say driver dot switch to once you are done with with your operation and then again you can say parent frame okay and in this case what it will do is it will simply switch to parent frame so now after you you will switch the context to parent frame if you hover over this method you will see that it changes the focus to the parent context if the current context is the top level browsing context it remains unchanged so for example your focus is on the parent so for example the focus is on the parent window then it won't change but if it is on the, any of the sub or uh, the the i frames then it will change the context to the parent window so that's what this particular method will do now before we actually be able to switch to the parent context so here because there is a javascript alert so we have to first handle the javascript alert um, before it will come to the parent frame and then we can get the title so we'll cover how to handle javascript alert in the next tutorial and then we'll run this whole code and see that how you can handle the frame and then switch back to the parent frame um, along with handling the javascript alerts as well so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching